Hello, I'm Julie Smith David from the W.P. Carey School at Arizona State University, and this is the first video in a series of three to help you understand how to create data models using the Visio software. In this video, we're going to start creating a document and create stereotypes that can be used when we add classes to our documents. When you start v Visio, this is the screen that you'll see. Um, it has a getting started area in the top. Um, it shows you your recent templates, the types of diagrams that you've drawn, and if this is your first time in Divisio, you won't have any documents here because you haven't yet drawn anything. Additionally, once you've started using Visio, it will show you individual models that you've worked on recently. If this is your first time to use Visio, in order to start a UML diagram, you need to go to the Software and Database um, option, and then right now I have featured a database model a UML model diagram, and a Windows XP user interface. We want to create a UML model diagram. And so I'll click on this icon, double click on this icon, and I'll get the basic drawing screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to place classes and associations onto the page to create my diagram. However, before I do that, if I'm going to be using stereotypes, it's easiest if you add your stereotypes to the template before you really get started with the classes. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this introductory segment. To create a new stereotype, you click on the UML option in the menu bar, and you'll see that you've got a submenu for stereotypes. When you click on that option, you'll see that there are many stereotypes that are already created within the Visio model. Unfortunately, the resources, the economic events, and the internal and external agents have not yet been created. And so we want to create new stereotypes so we'll be able to apply those to the classes that we're creating. To do that, I click on the New button, and I am brought to a new line. I can type in here. The first thing I'll type is resource. And that is going to be a stereotype for the classes. And so I can use the pull down to specify that this is a class stereotype. And then once I've done that, I can duplicate this and it'll already fill in the class. Now I can say I want to add a stereotype economic event. I can duplicate that and I can have a stereotype for internal agent. And I can duplicate that, and I can have a new stereotype for external. In, in each case, I started the first word with a lowercase letter, and I ran the words together, starting each following word with an uppercase letter, so that it would be easy to see. Before I complete this, I'm going to click OK. And now I have added these stereotypes to the model. When you continue this tutorial, we'll show how you can add classes to the diagram. And in the final module, we will put associations in between the classes.